see what I can do here. Shoot. Mm. guys. I don't know if anybody will come on, but I'm brewing today. We are brewing. It's cold. Woo. Decided to go live for a little bit. I'm in the boil. Just started. Brewing a mocha stout. Yeah, hopefully good. Hopefully be ready on Christmas Day. Gonna try to get this in quick. Bail outdoors, man, I have not seen you in a while either. Where you been? We've been around. How you like this cold weather here in Maryland, huh? We've been around. We just put out a bunch of videos in November for Bourbon Barrel each month. We got more to come too. But I am brewing a, hopefully, Nice, sweet, delicious Christmas stout, which is a mocha stout. I'm going to use cold brew coffee. I got chocolate. Um, should be good. Hey, Sandy, what's going on? Hey, boys. Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? I'm cold, but I'm brewing beer. Hopefully, this will be ready, uh, Sandy, for uh, Christmas yeah, dinner. That's my plan, have it on tap. So it's a mocha stout. Should be good. Maryland Outdoors, I missed what you just said. I'm on my phone, so it's a little bit different. I can't, it goes away for some reason. I don't know how the chat seems to go away when you put. Uh, the rain sucks, yeah, that's right. I was at the game, I freeze my butt. Hey, what's going on, Brian? Brian, I got something for you, stay right there. I took one of your Instagram tips, I'll show you some. Instagram post about flavorings, right? I am uh, doing uh, sort of like a chocolate coffee stout or a mocha stout, and I saw your ooh flavorings Instagram post. I don't know if you can see that. And I bought a few of them. I've not used them, so I'm going to use this chocolate mocha flavoring in the keg to kind of bring up some of that flavor. I'm still going to do cold uh, brew coffee and some unsweetened uh, chocolate um, in the beer. But uh, they're strong as hell. Yeah, I saw your post, so uh, you need electric. Yeah, I know I need electric indoors. I don't have money to go to electric. I wish I did. I need to get those sponsors like you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I saw one milliliter, right? That's all you need? One milliliter, right? And that's what I'm gonna do. Um, it seems like they're small. I, they had a really good sale. I mean, this was only like three bucks. They had a huge sale when you posted that. So I got like toasted coconut, um, I got another chocolate, like regular chocolate too. And then in the summertime when I do some sours, I may use that as well. Yeah, go easy. That's what I'll do. And if I need more, I can put more on. So I'm already using regular unsweetened baker's chocolate in it and Wells cold brew coffee. So we'll see. But thanks for the tip. And uh, I saw your Instagram posts and uh, I bought them. Maybe five. All right, maybe. So, all right, that's what I'll do. Um, they seem like you liked them. So if you like them, it got to be good. So just brew on a chocolate style really a coffee chocolate style. Um, nothing too crazy. Can you see me? Just wanted to go on. We haven't gone live in so long. I, I, I brew. Andy's not brewing. I kind of brew up myself nowadays. I wanted something for Christmas, so I had off today. Went to the Raven game last night. They're on fire. And uh, I said, let's, it's terrible weather. It's cold and rainy. But uh, when you're brewing, it doesn't matter. So it's been a pretty uneventful brew day. Everything's gone well, hit my numbers. We're in the boil. I just started to boil, so I figured, why not? Maybe somebody, I'm glad you, you jumped on Maryland Outdoors and Sandy and uh, Brian. 
Ryan, where's all your YouTube? I know you do a lot of stuff on Instagram. I haven't seen many YouTube videos lately. What's going on with that? I'm waiting for some videos on YouTube. But I've been watching you a lot on Instagram, which has been great. So it looks like everything's going well with you. I'm working on getting it back on. It's hard. I know we took a break for a while too. Um, it's never, yeah, we, we're busy too. It's tough. We have things we're supposed to do for some breweries we haven't gotten to. It's because our schedules are so difficult. But I had off today and I'm like, I'm brewing. I'm probably going to brew with my in laws um, the 28th as well, but I might not go live. I'm brewing a uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Clone. So, found a recipe. I kind of tweaked it a little bit. It looks quite easy. But they wanted to brew. They're coming from California and they love Sierra Nevada. Yeah, I'm sure you've got a lot of stuff coming. I know you do. That's why I've been waiting for it. Maybe use the holidays to crank out some videos, right? That's what I would do. Crank out some videos. The Bearded Beerman! What's going on out there in you California or Washington? You're out west. I mean, California, I think. What have you brewed? What have you brewed, Chris? I, I, I've been watching your videos too. I, I don't comment on them all, but we got so many to watch. It's crazy. How's it going, buddy? Hopefully you uh, have been brewing lately and gotten some out. This is my first brew since I guess Oktoberfest. It's been about a month and a, it's been two months. Yeah, I brewed like five beers for Oktoberfest and took a break. I had so much beer to drink. I had to wait to get down. A fruitcake ale. Now, that sounds awesome, I think. Uh, what are you using to make it a fruitcake ale? I'm interested. Check this out. Beautiful. Oh, don't you love the smell of when you're boiling? Oh, and also when you're mashing out. But really, when you boil, I get a lot of the uh, aromatics in my garage. So it smells like a brewery. I love it. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, how do you make a fruitcake ale? I mean, what do you do? I mean, it's an ale with what? Fruit added. But how do you get that fruitcake that cake component in it. That's what I want to know. What fruit are you using? I will eventually start making some sours. My next venture is to make some lactose infused fruited sours similar to the Burley Oak Dreams. I'm not going to make the quality, but I'm going to try. I got a tip from the brewmaster there of what they do for their, their dream series. And I absolutely love their, their dream. So I'm going to use some of these flavorings plus some of the puree that you can buy to do my sours in the summer. <laughs> Throw a fruitcake in it. Yeah, I guess so. Why not? I'm not going to eat the damn thing. <laughs> so uh, hops we're using for this brew. It's not a lot. A Magnum, Kent, uh, East Kent Golding, and uh, Fuggles. Fuggles? I don't know how you say it. Um, it's about uh, 40 IBUs, I think. Let's see here. What do we got? 37 IBUs. SRM of 38. 5.85%. And uh, using a dark chocolate malt on this uh, with a little bit of the, the husk carafa three and then a bunch of two row. And I use some flaked oats just to get, I like the sweetness that comes from that. It's a sweet stout in the, in the mouthfeel. White Ninja, what's going on? Thanks for hopping on. We're brewing. I'll show you a little bit. You guys want to see the actual, sit in my mug? Let me show you. We're in the boil here. It's probably going to steam up on you. Yeah, you can't see it. It's. Nice vigorous boil, nice chocolate stout. I'm not adding the actual chocolate until later on. How do I have that? Yeah, so this will be hopefully ready by Christmas. I got a yeast starter going, White Labs WLP04, the uh, Irish ale, and uh, real nice starter with that. That's ready to go. That should start to attenuate this right away once I pitch it later tonight. I have to turn off my hoses because it's so cold so I'm probably gonna do this just naturally with an ice bath sort of, and it's so cold out here, it'll, in an hour or so, it'll be down to temp. It won't take long. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do, uh, Brian. I might not put it in the fermenter. I may make like a chocolate slurry with the powder and dump it into the cake. So if you, you know, make that sort of slurry and then dump it in, and I don't know, this ha might have a ton of chocolate flavor in it, so I'm worried about being too chocolatey. So I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how much chocolate flavor is in this little sucker. So I gotta work, I gotta check that out. I'm gonna try to do some more research on that. Red Beer TV, what's going on? Marilyn, I don't wanna jinx it, but what do you think the chances are of a win a Super Bowl? I think we have as good of a chance as anybody, Marilyn Outdoors. So um, 
I'll take our chances, no doubt about it, especially if we play at home. Hey, thank you. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. Let me know you like it. We don't go live a lot anymore. We've been cranking out a lot of videos. That's kind of what we do. We haven't done a lot of brewing stuff, so um, we do brew. That's part of our name, right? So uh, we've been doing more reviews, and you know, breweries are sending us stuff to review, and it's just hard to get to it all. Um, we did a bunch of stuff for Bourbon County Stout. Hopefully, maybe you saw that. If you had Bourbon County Stout, let me know what you think. We got uh, six of the eight variants this year, which was great. Um, so if you're interested, go back and look at all those videos. But if you find it out there, look for good price points. You can probably get it pretty cheap. It seems like there's a lot out there this year. Yeah, it, hopefully it'll taste good. Uh, you know, the problem what I have is, and Brian or, or Chris, Peter Beerman, if you have a good base stout recipe, I've been tweaking with my base stout recipe just to get a good, and I, hopefully I've hit it today, but I haven't had a great stout yet. So, may, or I haven't made a great stout yet. I'm hoping this is it. Whoa, what did you say there, Brian? A couple of dark chocolate Hershey's powder to the boil in the last, it wasn't too chocolate. I've done that too, but I don't want this thing to start, and. Will that add the uh, fermentable sugars into it? I don't want. I don't want this thing to. I don't want it to be too high. I, I want the ABV to kind of low. I'm, I'm scared of putting in anything that has the type of. I know it's unsweetened, but isn't there still a residual sugar in that? Yeah, I used four malts. I used two row, um, a little bit of crystal. I don't know why, and then dark chocolate and husk carafa. So I used three, really three, three main. Oh, that's what I have. All right, so maybe I'll do that. I have it now. I might just dump it in in the last 15 minutes and just be done with it. It's unsweetened cacao powder from Hershey's, so I may just do that. That'll save me the trouble, and then I won't have to worry about overloading it with too much chocolate. So, Brian, I, I always appreciate you jumping on, man. You teach me so much. If anybody hasn't seen Brian, his channel, he uh, does great brewing videos, but the quality is second to none. If you want to learn how to make a basement, watch his videos because he does it all himself. His, his finished basement. What else is everybody else doing? What are we doing this weekend? Anything fun? I have no plans this weekend. That's the good thing. Um, Sandy, if you're still watching, my wife and Sandy, her sister, are going over to bake cookies at their parents' at mom's house on Sunday. So I got all three boys on Sunday. And then they'll come home with all these cookies, which is great. Um, but I have no plans, which is great. I love that. No football game. We can just, uh, it's going to rain. The weather stinks here on the East Coast. So that's the problem with three boys in the winter. They go stir crazy. Um, let's check it out. At the first hop edition, not until 30 minutes. I should probably weigh them out. What do I have? Half ounce of Magnum. Probably do that. Give me a second, guys. Here's your Magnum hop. Huh? Anybody wants to get or help us out on um, any of our videos we have a link to more beer that's where we buy or I buy most of my what smells good most of my uh, ingredients if you click that link if you're a brewer and buy stuff it helps us out also have all of our equipment from their Amazon on there click that link and even if you don't buy what you you uh, have the link for it and you buy something else it helps us as well we're trying, man. It's hard to make money on YouTube. We don't do it really for that, but you know, you try to, and it's just like, God, I don't know how people do it. We don't make much money. <laughs> Oops, don't tell me that's going out of battery. No! Ugh. The battery's low on this, damn it. Well, that stinks. Gotta get new battery. All right, come with me. We're gonna get batteries. I won't leave you here by yourself. Take a stroll inside my house. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we got a couple fun videos coming, which is um, a thing called glam and drams. And what's that, right? Well, you know we love like glam rock, like '80s rock, and we've kind of started getting into like whiskey, bourbon specifically, or rye whiskey. If you saw again our Bourbon County Stouts, we actually reviewed all of the bourbons or rye whiskey that was used in the variants this year for bourbon county stout but we're going to do a thing called glam and dram so we're going to spotlight a whiskey and then spotlight a glam band and it's going to be fun Andy's working on that now we've got two done motley crew and i won't tell you the other one 
But the first one you're going to see is, I think, Muntlin Crew. And they just announced a huge tour. And then we have an even, I think, also equally fun. What happened to that thing? Um, little, I don't know what you would call it, I guess. Uh, two videos that come out. It was supposed to go out during our <coughs> um, Bourbon Barrel Age Month. But we did blind taste test of four, each of us, me and Andy. We both set up a blind taste test of really nice Bourbon Barrel Age beers. And uh, we try to like rank our favorite ones and uh, describe which ones they were, just not knowing anything about it besides looking at it and uh, tasting it. And it was really fun. So that those videos will come out. We got some Christmas beers that'll come out. And uh, who knows? We're trying to get at some breweries, uh, professional breweries, to do some reviews. So I think that'll happen soon once we get some time. I don't know whenever that'll be. What the hell's going on with this thing? Anyway, so that's what we got going on. We're not going anywhere. I promise you that. I don't know how to open that. Anyway. All right, let me just put you down. What else? Anything else going on that's on? We got nine people on. Five likes. Hit that like button, please. Tell me you like it. Um, just want to know what everybody's doing. This. What's going on with this thing? What the hell, man? Sorry. This isn't good YouTube, is it? Oh, well. This thing go in. that one. Anywho, uh, anything else going on, everybody? Just curious to see what people are doing today. Uh, Brian, when are you brewing again? If you're still on, I don't know if you are. God dang it! What's wrong with this? Thing? That's why. Seven likes. All right, I like it. Thank you, guys. I'm trying to get batteries in a scale so I can weigh out my first hop edition, which will be at 11.30. So don't let me forget, 11.30, I need to add this first hop edition. Come on, man, what is with this thing? Ugh, so tired and things not working. Need new things. No money for new things. Why won't this work now? What the hell is going on? Very odd. Very odd. Get in there. There we go. Still doesn't work. What the hell's wrong with this thing? Guess I need a new scale. Add that to the list of new things we need. Son of a gun, man. Come on. This is ridiculous. Why aren't you working? a pain in my butt. I need to measure this out. I also have to get the big scale out. Oh, we only have six people on. Sorry, guys. I know this probably isn't riveting stuff. Hope you're having a good Friday. We kind of miss talking to everybody. One of these days, we'll get Andy on a live stream, and we'll do a... Oh, there we go. We're working out. We'll do a proper live stream. I wanted to get... Hopefully, we can still do it. I think his name's Kyle, I think, from No Hype Beer Reviews. I wanted to get him on for a live stream to talk about Bourbon County because he, if you haven't seen his uh, channel, he's a great beer reviewer, uh, and he did a lot of the Bourbon County stout as well, and so I know he loves it as much as we do. So maybe we can get him on. I don't know. We'll see. All right, there's half an ounce. Anyway, let's take a look at the beer. I'll take you guys over. There it is. Smells amazing. Look, you can't see it because it's cold and there's steam coming off of it. But that's the boil. That's a mocha chocolate stout. Um, should be done the boil at noon. At noon. What time is it now? I don't even know. See, now I'm on here. I don't know what time it is. Shoot. Oh, I can. 11:23. Don't let me forget. At in seven minutes, I gotta add this first hop. Okay. Don't let me forget. Have ounce. Six people on, eight likes. Wow, we are just blowing up here, right? Let's see, is this cold enough? Let's check the pre-boil gravity. Uh, what was my pre-boil gravity supposed to be? I don't even know. Ah, 104.2, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Take this little thing, a uh, hydrometer, right? Get a little sample of your, your wart right there. See that? There's a sample of my wart. 
Throw a couple drops on there. This is riveting stuff, isn't it? Can you even see me? And then you look into the light. Oh shit, I'm hot. Well, that's too high. What the hell happened? I'm like 105.7. That is. That's not. No, well, I guess it's not bad. I didn't want this to be a high ABVB of beer. 105.7. I'm supposed. That's ridiculously too high. What? Hold on a second. be a bigger beer than I thought. I don't know if it doesn't account for the uh, flaked oats that they put in there, but that's way too high. Oh well. Hold on one sec, guys. Anyway, anybody comment? We're at five people. Oh, riveting, riveting YouTube. I may shut it down. <laughs> Not many more people come on. Cause I can uh, I can go inside now. <laughs> Cause it's cold. So I'll stay on for a couple more minutes, but if it's not happening, I'm getting off. Not a big deal. We're not live streamers anyway. This is I need Andy with me. That's what I need. He keeps me straight. I gotta get this thing set up right. Uh, now I'm overexposed. There it is, can you see that? You can't see me, but you can see the boil, right? Uh, I wish it... Dang it, man. That's a better shot like that. Oh, I'm all... Oh, well. What the hell, man? I can't get anything right. There, that's good. That's a good shot. Can't see me. You can see that. Right right there. There's the beer. That boils for an hour. Pitch the yeast when it gets the temperature. And 10 days, I got beer. Isn't that great? Ugh. Anybody else still here? Just please let me know. It. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, any questions you have about how to brew beer or what this is or what we're doing? Um, you want to promote your channel? Please do. Can you see me now? This is not a good thing because you can't really see me. I am way overexposed. Nobody wants to see my ugly mug anyway, do you? I know I don't. Can you see me now? Let's see. Woo! Hey. Anywho. Um, yeah, I know. Andy just texted me saying I've chased him all away. I think I have. Oh, well. Whatever. Oh, I miss some people. Oh, Sunshine Cooper, what's going on? How are you? 105 Maryland Terry. I don't know if it's 105.7. That's a sports station, Brian. I miss some... Oh. Here's at the party. Yeah, there you go. So, oh, Brian said... I don't know why I missed all these ch chats. Brian said next weekend he's going to do a video on the green. Oh, I wish I had that. Try and do some hunting or fishing in the rain. Ain't too bad. I, I, I'm not a big, I do fish, but I'm not a big hunter. I've actually never hunted. Got a Christmas party we're going to this weekend. Uh, taking at least 15 gallons. Yeah, you sound like our Christmas party, our Oktoberfest. We had 30 gallons of beer. That's a lot of beer when you only have about 30 people coming to the party. <laughs> uh, the queen of sunshine is here. Sunshine Cooper, I need some sunshine here in Maryland because it's cold and dreary and rainy. Thank you. Yes, yeah, smash the thumbs up. What was your gravity? My gravity was 105.7. That's way too high. I'm supposed to be at like 104.5. That's way too high. I don't know if the my system, I use Brewer's Friend, doesn't count for the flaked oats. It's the only thing I can think of. Uh, or I got great, great uh, efficiency, which I'll take. Hello from Australia. What's up, guys? Scott Fishing 180. How are you from Australia? We're brewing beer. Uh, you can't see me. We're brewing a chocolate style. So Tweety, hey, TJF all the way out there in Seattle, I think, right? I'm waiting for some cruise videos, So Tweety, Hillary. I haven't seen any lately. I know you're trying to get through some. So I'm waiting for those cruise videos. If you guys ever want an awesome travel vlogger, So Tweety right there. Check her out. Awesome with cruises. You can learn a lot if you want to go on cruises too. I know I've learned a lot. Yeah, 105 points. Uh, Oh, I got you. I got you, Brian. Oh, you got your newest one up late? La okay, I was at the Raven game, so I haven't seen. Whale watching and uh, catch a can? My parents have went on that cruise, which is the funny thing. I don't think that cruise line, but they went on the same thing you went on. So it's interesting to see your videos, because I can now see what they saw, which is great. Yeah, check out So Tweety. Awesome, awesome travel vlogger. You can't see me. I'm sorry. I'm going to change this, because you can't really see me. Not that you want to see me. Hey, there I am. 
All right. All right, Brian. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks for the tip as always. Good to see you. Cheers, buddy. And hopefully I'll see some YouTube videos from you soon. Hey, Vanessa Kidd, I didn't see you. Cheers. Welcome. Thanks for stopping in. How, it's 36 degrees and rainy. It's like the worst. It's pretty cold. Can you, can you tell? Look at that. It's, it's not good. It's not good. What time is it? I got to add some hops. One minute, I got to have hop. <laughs> what did you say? Love bed. For, uh, Vanessa Kitty, something about five years up there. I think you loved it up there. Yeah, so yeah, it's chilly. So uh, I wanted to come on just to say hi. It's a good opportunity for me to say hi. All right, let me, um, snow flurries here in West Haven, Connecticut. We had a little bit of snow the other day, but nothing yet. It's just been cold and rainy here in the mid-Atlantic. No bueno. All right, I'm going to add some hops. You guys want to see it? Come with me. Come on. Here we go, adding some hops. This is when it starts smelling really, really good. All right, I'm gonna put you down for one second. Actually, I'm gonna take these. It's gonna go like this. Ready, you guys ready? I'm gonna throw some hops in. These are uh, Magnum hops. Oh, what, what are we doing, Magnum? Yeah, Magnum hops. Here we go. All right, here we go. Ready? Can you see that? Ready? Oh, there we go. Now, oh, you're off. Oh, God, I'm sorry. You can't see me. Foggy. Steam bath. Now we're making beer. New video. Just started. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm missing some of the talk. Hold on. Sorry. It's cod vision. I see it. Sweet. New video. All right. Cod fish and talking to Marin Outdoors. I know you, uh, Vanessa Kitty says we need smell vision. Definitely need smell vision. Now that I've added the hops. Beard of Beerman, you know what I'm talking about when you do that first hop edition. Oh, that smells so good. Beard of Beerman said he just started a homebrew club out of his local brewery. An Irish Red. Nice. Beautiful. That's cool that you started your homebrew club. How many people are in it? <laughs> you should be at work when they are brewing across. Yeah, exactly. That's not probably good. Is that Duclaw by you? It probably smells amazing. Yeah, anybody there, so Tweety again, amazing travel vlogger, please check her out. Everybody, everybody check everybody out. Uh, Chris from the Beer of Beerman's a great sort of beer brewing channel. Uh, Vanessa Kitty as well. You got uh, Maryland Outdoors. You don't put out content, I don't think, do you, buddy? And Codfish 180 over there in Australia. So, not many people on, guys. Thanks for joining me. You keep me a little bit of company while I just kind of brew beer by myself. Um, anywho. Let me put, uh, put you down. Anything else going on? Oh, let me see. What do we got? 12 so far. That's pretty good. Um, we have not joined. I don't have time to join a homebrew club. I really don't. I've got three kids. Andy's got two, and they're small. We do the videos. And after that, I'm, I'm lucky I get time to brew. So I take days off to brew in the morning so I can get done when I'll go pick them up from school today. Um, I still brew. We just don't see a lot of it on our channel. I mean, uh, there's not a lot of fun things to do. I mean, this is it. So we could do videos on it, but once you see one brew day, you kind of see them all. <laughs> I have one video up now. You, so is that new, Maryland Outdoors? I didn't know that. I'll have to go check that video out. I knew that I checked your channel a while, and there was no uh, no videos on it. Uh-oh, uh, Hillary from So Tweety said, I, I babysat my three-month-old and four-year-old nieces yesterday. Well, I don't know how... <laughs> so you, you, that's tough. I have a 14-year-old, a six-year-old, and a three-year-old. So, all boys. My wife's the same. Um, we, uh, we have our hands full, to say the least. So I got, the, like, the teenage years. I've got, like, the early adolescence, and I got the toddler. I got everything, so... That's all for us. We're done. So yeah, so Tweety, you know how that is. That's the best thing. You're a nice aunt. You can watch them for, you know, the, um, I guess your brother or sister and uh, then give them back. That's the best thing, right? Now, do we make our own vodka? No, we don't. We don't have a still, so we don't have any way of distilling anything. I'm not getting into that. I got enough. Look at all this stuff. I've taken up my garage with beer, supplies, and ingredients. I'm not getting a still. There's no way. I'd love to make whiskey. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I, I have. The whole range is right. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's why I won't have anymore. <laughs> I'm done. There's no more room at the end. 
All right, you're gonna go inside with me, guys. Check, I'm gonna try to find some of that chocolate. I wasn't planning on putting the chocolate in until the keg, but Brian has convinced me, and I've done it once before, to throw the powder in. Throw it in when we, I think I still have it in here somewhere. Maybe not, we might've gotten rid of it. I thought I still had it. Give me a second, guys. Uh, maybe I don't have it. Thought I had somewhere in here. Maybe I don't. That's okay. If I don't have it, I'll just go with my original plan. And that'll be okay. Where is it? I thought I had a thing of chocolate. Nope, I guess not. All right, we're gonna go back outside as I destroy everything. No big deal. I'm gonna go with the original plan. Sorry, Brian, I'm not using your tip. All right, there's my house. Hey, how about that, huh? Now back out to the cold. Oh, it's so cold. I'm gonna probably go for another couple minutes, guys. 30 minutes or so. Be on for an hour. Oh, it smells good. Nice vigorous boil. That's gonna be good. Hopefully. Uh, let's see. I don't need that anymore. Ooh, it smells good. I wonder, I'm gonna check the. Uh, I'm gonna put you guys right there. Just gonna check my pH. Not that it's a big deal, because I'm not putting a ton of hops and it's not hot in beer. I didn't have to really treat my water today, the stout. We're lucky we have really soft water. Not really soft, but good water for brewing. All right, let's see what we got. Good. 5.5, perfect, exactly what I wanted. That's just nerdy stuff for, for brewing. 5.5 pH, that's good, I'll take it. Wipe that off. That is good. Get rid of that. What else is going on? Anybody new that I missed on the chat? Who's on? It's about two weeks old and I have it. more to do with. Oh, okay, cool. I'm glad you're starting to do videos, Marin Outdoors. Um, was it a hunting video or fishing? What was it? I'm just curious. I assume it is, but I don't know. Um, and when you go fishing, where do you go fishing? We're always out by uh, South River and uh, Thomas Point Lighthouse on the Chesapeake. So that's where we go fishing. And have you been any done any deer hunting this year? I have a guy I work with who deer hunts on the eastern shore. He's looking for some nice sick of deer. Uh, Codfish 180 says, I used to make a lot of whiskey and vodka. That, that's, so besides the still, do you need anything else? And what did, I mean, what kind of whiskey did you make? I would love to make bourbon, but again, I don't know. We're not gonna get the barrels. I mean, how do you get a charred oak barrel? I mean, that'd be really cool to do. I'd like to actually get a whiskey barrel so I could put a stat in it to make my own bourbon barrel aged beer. I try to do that with oak chips and uh, bourbon soaked in. It didn't work out too well. So you live and learn. Anybody else? Eight on, 10 likes. Thank you guys for joining me now. I appreciate it. Um, like I said earlier, one of these days, we're going to have live streams about once a month with me and Andy, not just from Brew Days, but from the bar where we can kind of have fun and talk to everybody and interact better. We haven't done a live stream in a while, um, so we're not really live streamers, so it is what it is. Uh, I love the live stream, don't get me wrong, but it's just not what we do. Yeah, well, hopefully it will be fun. Well, once a month, I think, is what we'll do for live streams. I've heard things about the algorithm, like if you're if you're a creator that doesn't live stream and you do live streams, it messes you up. And by, you know, I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't want to give up live streaming altogether. I mean, that's a great way, to, I think, to connect with your audience, right? So I've heard that you shouldn't live stream if you're a content creator of you know up edited videos. Maybe that's true. I don't know, but I like just talking to people live. Now we. Certainly, I don't think one a video, a, a one live stream a month would be bad, right? I don't know. I've never tried live streams, so I'm not sure, but they do seem, yeah, I mean, everybody live streams. And that, I think more people live stream than actually do edited videos. It's probably an easier way to get watch time. There's no doubt about it, but that's not who we are. We like to do edited videos. That's, that's kind of, we like them to be enduring, I guess, so to speak. And live streams, once I've done this, nobody really watches a live stream of this. So it was a challenge video and I fish a lot at Lock Raven, okay. Pretty boy, Liberty. All right. So you're doing freshwater then. Codfish 180 says, I have a 12 year old son and a six year old. <laughs> oh, that's it for me. Well, they, they tell you what, that is, that's a lot. Jervis 346, what's going on, man? How are you? Thanks for coming on. It's cold brew day for us. Guys, when it is um, 
11.45 Eastern Standard Time, let me know. I gotta add the next hop edition. A couple hop editions. 400 AGL, I do stream once a week and edit videos. So you do it once a week. Do you find out that it hurts your edited videos? I've heard of that, stuff like that. All right, I love seeing Maryland Outdoors. Hey, you will love Chris, right? It's Chris, Bearded Beerman's channel. He is awesome. Griffin, what's going on? Morning, how are you? It's almost noon here. That means it's time to, uh, I have to get the kids, so no drinking for me today. No drinking. I'm, I got to go pick up the kids from school. So no, no, no drinking for me. Just, just checking out what my next edition is. Hold on, I need uh, half ounce. Oh, the other half ounce of the mech. All right, that's easy enough. This is the next half ounce to go in. Morning, Chris. So everybody, Griffin's a great supporter. I'm, you always hop on my live streams. I love it. Uh, I do drone, yeah, tech. Um, no, it actually helps because then I can... That's actually interesting. So yeah, it's cool. Because I've heard from some live streamers that are pretty big saying that if you... YouTube has said that if you are a video creator actually doing live streams it takes away from your edited videos. They don't push it out the same way. But I agree with you. I think it's a great way to talk about your edited videos. And I still think it's a good way to uh, interact with the audience. I mean... And sometimes you get super chats and stuff like that. That's not what we do it. But I think the better thing is interacting with the audience. So... Ah, cool. Jervis346 is going to go check out Maryland Outdoors. Nice. Yeah, so he is uh, going to start doing more, right, Maryland Outdoors? He's my neighbor from about probably 20 miles from here, north of me. I'm south of Baltimore. He's north of Baltimore. Yeah, I agree. I think it's important, too. In fact, you know, live streaming, you get a lot of watch time, too. So, I mean, to me, that's important as well. Oh, i got to do a couple of things here at 15. i got to add in a Warloff tablet. Hold on one second, guys. Get it. We want clear beer, right? This beer's gonna be really clear. I I strained the uh, mash and sparge out. It's gonna be really nice. Four Seasons Brewing here. Four, Griffin says Four Seasons Brewing. Oh yeah, for, okay, the brewery, cool. Burt Brothers Brewing, looks chilly, beats working. That's true and true. So yeah, it's cold, it's like 36, rainy, I'm in my garage but it beats working, 100% true. Because I'm brewing beer, it's nothing better. I'll brew beer in January, freezing cold. I can still do it. It's actually somewhat times easier than brewing when it's like 95 degrees out here, because it gets really hot in, my, in, in here. So I'd actually, I can layer up, not a big deal. How did the, beer, uh, the party beer go? Griffin, are you talking to me from our Oktoberfest party? We had, there's still some left in this cake right over here. We had 30 gallons of beer. Andy, if you're watching, are you ever going to edit an Oktoberfest party video? Put it on Andy. He doesn't do it. If you want to see the Oktoberfest party, make comments and get at Andy because we've got content from two parties that he hasn't edited. Granted, Andy does a lot of our editing. Andy does everything. So I can't get on him because he's got so much. And Andy just texted me and said no. So there you go. <laughs> Andy will not be putting it up. I think one of these days we will put an Oktoberfest party video up. I don't know when, but it will be soon. I know nothing about brewing, but know a lot about flying drones for hobby. Or, there you go. We know nothing about drones. We, I would love to get a drone, but I would be so scared to like wreck it or lose it. There's no doubt I would do that. Me and Andy would certainly do that. We would wreck and or um, crash the, you know, or lose the drone. No doubt about it. it. Would certainly happen. I would love to have it though. I have another channel for my family stuff separate from this. That would be perfect for the beach. We do a lot of videos for the beach and. Uh, I would certainly lose it though. There's no doubt about it. I would screw it up. But the footage, I'm sure, is awesome. All right. Is it uh, quarter of yet, guys? Come on, it's gotta be close. All right, three more minutes. Hey, Exploring Ginger, what's going on? How are you? Thanks so much for coming in. Just tune in, what beer? Oh, so yeah, what beers are you? I'm doing what we call, I'm calling it like a mocha stout. So, um, base stout and then adding cold uh, brewed coffee to the keg and also some uh, like chocolate unsweetened ch uh, cacao chocolate syrup slurry and then I'm also adding this mocha chocolate fla extract flavoring to the keg so it's gonna be a sweet stout for Christmas you know with coffee and chocolate hopefully is good hopefully 44 for his Tweety I, I don't know what that was too I'm sorry Tweety I don't know what that was for but definitely I'm gonna I'm gonna so Tweety's channel Hillary if you haven't, please check her out because one, she's a great supporter, and two, she makes awesome travel and cruise videos. I love it. I love why I feel like I'm on the cruises when I watch her videos. 
just can't can't get enough. So she just put one up last night, so go check her out. If you could hook and coach, if, if I could hook you and coach you on what, the, all right, well, that's good to know, 400 AGL. Um, you know, I don't, what would be a good drone, starter drone that wouldn't be say over like 300 or less, that could get you still some good shots? What would that be? That's my question. I mean, I know like I watch like Casey Neistat and they all do like, you know, DJ Mavic and uh, all those other ones. I'm just curious, what would be a good starter drone? For somebody like me. All right, I gotta add a uh, smell of vision. I wish you could smell. These are uh, Magnum pellet hops. Ooh, God, it smells good. Half ounce. Put it in. Oh, 13 on, 12 thumbs up. 13, I'll take 13. Come on, keep coming in. Meet everybody, check everybody out. Hopefully, you guys are meeting some new creators. And uh, anybody who's on the stream is a really good supporter. There's no doubt about that. So make sure you uh, check everybody out. All right, put this in. That's that. And then we got two more editions with five minutes left. And I'm done. We got East Kent Goldings and Fugles. Fugles. So in 10 minutes, I got to add the last hops. And then we're done. So we'll probably go for an hour on this. All right, we'll go an hour. So I got, you know, 19 minutes. Stay with me. Don't leave. More, hopefully more people come in. You can meet some more creators. Uh, any questions you guys have about brewing or 21090 or life in general, which I probably won't be able to answer. Shoot them away. If you want to promote a video that you guys did, put it on here. I don't care. Let people know what you're doing. I know people, some people are like, don't go on a live stream and say, I don't give a crap. You got something you put up, put it on here. Let people find out about you. No big deal. So if you got something going up, let me know. Let everyone else on the stream know what you're doing. And uh, I'm making sure I didn't lose, let's see, I didn't miss anything. So, oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Um, you guys want to see a cool beer from Burley Oak? I love Burley Oak. They're a local brewery. It's called Winter Punch. Can you see that? I'll show you. Winter Punch. It is a Goza, which is a sour beer, but it's made with, get, now get this, ready? Cranberries, plums, pink Himalayan sea salt, that is a sleigh ride on your tongue. Boom, look at that. I got some other beers I'll show you. Here's something we're gonna be doing for our friends at Heavy Seas. You probably see a lot. This is their 24th anniversary beer. Look at that can arc from Owen Murphy. This just came out last week. It is a quadruple IPA. No, I didn't say double or triple, I said quadruple. It is, I believe, 14% alcohol. Cannot wait to get into that puppy. So you'll see a full review on that, hopefully next week. Um, that's celebrating 24 years of Heavy Seas. And then we have some other stuff we're doing. Um, anybody like the uh, band King Diamond? <laughs> There's their beer from Surly. King Diamond, Black Horseshoe, Horseman. It's a black lager. Look at that. King Diamond, the band. <laughs> I'm not a huge King Diamond fan, but my brother got me that. That's pretty funny. Anyway. Killing time. Am I missing any comments at all? I probably am. Shoot. Bumpy! Bumpy's here. All right, I miss Bumpy. What's going on, Jesse? What is going on? Brewing the chocolate mocha stout. I'm glad you come on. I didn't know if you make the day. Bumpy, please, everybody go check out Bumpy Road Brewing. He's a good friend of ours, Jesse. He does tons of beer reviews. He's on live streams. He brews his own beers. He's a great guy. He's a great supporter. Please go give him some love. Check out uh, Bumpy Road Brewing. He's been with us from the beginning when we started this. Oh, my battery power's gone. Hold on a second, guys. I gotta put on some juice here. Give me one second. Sorry. There's my hand. Oh. All right, here we go. We got Exploring Ginger. We got Jervis 346. We're making fishing vids soon, but mostly... My... All right, cool. I love that. I love fishing vids. Exploring Ginger make for... We're tossing out. I know, right? The can art is so good on some of these cans. My father-in-law actually keeps all the cans. What happened there? I exposed myself. He's got a wall of cans. It's so cool. So anytime I get like a really cool can, I give it to him. But he's like running out of father-in-law kind of doesn't. I think I want him to take over another one. So fun fact about that. 13 people, 14 likes. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. I, I really, we don't get enough time to go live. And, you know, it's, uh, sorry, my hand's in the way. I Five of, don't let me forget, I got a, at, hey, Whiskey Scout, oh, there's some whiskey fans, so we're getting into whiskey, how are you, man? 
Awesome channel right there. Andy loves your channel. Andy's really into whiskey. He's watching right now. He's probably like, oh, I wish I could talk to Whiskey Scout. Um, like I said, we're starting to get into the whiskey. Uh, we're not starting into. We are into the whiskey uh, world, so to speak, with reviewing whiskeys. We're, Andy's way further than me, but I'm starting to get into it too. And whiskey and beer go together so freaking well. Old Norse Brewery. What's going on, man? Brewing a mocha stout. I got about five to ten minutes left in the boil and I'm done. Um, so easy brew day today. This should be ready for Christmas. It's a chocolate coffee stout, basically. I call it a mocha. It says low battery. If I lose connections because I have no battery connection. What the hell? Sorry about that. Forgot about my battery. <laughs> Bumpy, what's going on, man? What are you up to this weekend? Um, and you ruin anything? What happened to that? The Trish stout, whatever you call it, the, the the stout you were putting in a wine barrel or something, is that beer done? And how did it turn out? Because I wanted to know how that was. Old Norse love stout. I love stouts. I, right now, it's all I'm drinking stouts. I mean, that's I went summertime all sours, and now it's just all stouts. I mean, why not? It's cold. Bourbon barrel aged stouts even better. So we're all about the stouts. I think everybody's about the stouts. Mm -hmm. You know what? I needed to make. Let me see something. Let me see here. Let me see. One second, guys. Is uh, Hillary still here? Hillary, are you still here? I wanted to ask you something. I don't know if uh, So Tweety is still here. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can't do it here. Uh, add mod. All right, good. I did it. All right, good. I want to make her a mod. Oh, there you are. I just made you a mod, So Tweety. I don't have many mods, I forgot about that. I should make probably all you guys mods, but whatever. Um, so Tweet, um, when is your next cruise? I know you said you wanted to get some of these videos out before your next cruise, but you gotta be thinking of where you're going next. What is your next cruise you're trying to plan or you already have ready to go? Just curious. Whiskey stout, it's stout season that's aged in bourbon barrels, right? Here's a good one right here, whiskey. It's Sire Noir. This is an imperial chocolate stout aged in bourbon barrels. It is phenomenal. This is from our friends at Heavy Seas, our local brewery. So dang good. That beer is amazing. We're going to age these four. Um, you do it. What's going on? How are you? My friend from way back in the day. It's done just melting right now. Not a, that's great. Oh, man. Hey, come on. Send some down to me, will you? I'll send you some good uh, Burley Oak sour, uh, Dreams if you want. Send me something. <laughs> I'll send you some of this too. I'll have a ton of this. 15 people on, 60 likes. What's going on? I'm beer here. There you go. You do it. I, awesome tech channel right there. Yeah, he's really growing. Check out You Do It. He, we, I met him at a uh, YouTuber gathering from over a year ago in Baltimore. Really good guy. Check out You Do It. Good channel too, man. He's really got things going on his channel. <clears throat> Gave me coffee drink, didn't try. Brother gave me a coffee drink, didn't try it yet. Coffee beer or what? What do you mean by that? No problem, you do it. You deserve it. You good, man? All right, got a little bit left here. What time is it? Is it five of? Thank you. Right now I have several cruises on my mind, but yep, holding off booking until I catch up. Okay. All right, and where does that launch? The Scottish or Virgin? What is that? What cruise line is that? Are you, are you only on one? Cruise line that you do, I think it's with the Princess Cruise Line. In dark, that hospital for two. Whoa! I didn't. Miss, I missed what Codfish was saying, but if you're in the hospital, that's not good. Hope all's well. Next brew with an APL. Old Norse Brewery's doing an American Pale Ale, I assume. I'm doing a Pale Ale too. I'm doing a clone of Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. That's my next beer as well. Very, very cool. It's 11:54. All right, gotta get ready for the last hop edition. This is it. All going in and then I cut the heat and I'm just letting it sit for a while. I, I, I have to turn off my hoses because it's so cold it'll freeze so I'm not getting all the hoses back out. This thing is just gonna, I'm gonna put the lid on it, not the lid on it, I'm gonna let it sit in the garage, it's freezing cold, it should get down to temp within an hour and a half and then I'll pitch the yeast. Virgin is the uh, company that is making their first cruise ship. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so like the Virgin, uh, uh, like the airline and phone. I got you. I wonder how that's going to be. That'll be a great video. If you go on one of their inaugural like cruises and put that out, I bet you that will be hugely successful. Can't wait to see it. All right. That's all done. Nothing but wait now. All right, I got 
12 p.m. Eastern, I gotta cut the heat on that. Let me just, well, I was a little early on that, whatever. Never can have too hot, much hot. Hey, uh, Stir it up. Hold on, guys. I'm coming right back to you. Coming right back to you. What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? A Paps Hard Coffee. I've heard of that. I gotcha. What, uh, I, I just missed, missed my 11 days of fishing. What did you do? Yeah, kind of fishing. I hope all is okay. I hope you're good. And yeah, It's never good to miss fishing, too, but I, even more so, I hope your health is okay. So I guess it's pretty warm down in Australia, right, cod fishing? I mean, you're, you're in summer now almost. So lucky you, man. It's freezing cold here. I, I, the older I get, the less I, I can't stand winter. I can't stand cold. December, January, and February here. I love December because it's the holidays and the kids. But man, January and February, it's dark and cold here in Maryland. I mean, just it's the worst. And then we'll get snow, and I'm going to get out there and shovel. No bueno. The older I get, the less I like it. I know some people love snow and cold weather. I can't stand it, man. Give me warm weather and beach any day of the week. I'll take hot all day. I can always go in the air conditioning. And the other thing is I got three boys, and they don't go outside when it's freezing cold. So they're stuck in our house. It was 13. Uh, 13. Uh, what's that? It's Celsius, I assume. What's that Fahrenheit? I have no idea. 16 on this, hey, 16 and 16 likes. Hit the thumbs up if you haven't. By the time your kids have houses, there will be a driveway show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They won't, that's exactly right, Ellie. No doubt about it. They will certainly uh, have something like that. That's why I moved from Michigan to Oregon. Burt's Brothers Brewing, that, it probably still gets dreary in Oregon. They're right cold. I mean, it's nothing like Michigan. Uh, Peninsula of Michigan is probably really bad. So, uh, oh, Southwest PA, it's 13 degrees there. Oh, geez, Louise. Yeah, it's like 36 here in Baltimore, so to speak. Um, so, all right, guys, don't let me forget. I got to cut the heat in five minutes. Don't let me forget. Uh, yeah, it's raining 50. Yeah, it's raining 36. No good. I was at the Raven game last night in the freezing cold, and now I'm brewing. But I was doing two things I really like, so I can't complain. Oh, yesterday morning. Yeah, snow's coming. I'm sure you get it in Southwest PA. You get a ton of snow up there. I'm sure. Ton of snow. Ton of snow. So I'll have to do. And I love when guys come on our people come onto our live stream. I feel like I don't ever show you how the beer turns out. So check out our Instagram. Because I what I'll do is uh, maybe on Christmas I'll show you guys when we're drinking it what the beer's like. And you can see, oh, hey, look. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. We do a lot of stuff on there as well, behind the scenes stuff that you don't see on our regular channel. Um, but I'll do a quick little Christmas review of this beer on Instagram around that time, and you can see how it turned out, if you're interested. It could be bad. And I've made bad beers before. It's not, not always to say they're always good. 37 degrees in South Jersey. Yeah, well, it's 30, it might be 37 right here now, too. It's the same probably weather you do it. I've always wanted to make my own beer, and I don't like the beer that comes in a can. You can add water and sugar and yeast, make your own from start to finish. Yeah, well, you know, they, it's not that hard to make beer. It, it really isn't. If you're making whiskey or, or vodka, I mean, beer is four ingredients. The main thing being water and knowing your water profile. But really, if you don't know your water profile, you can still make good beer. Um, some type of malted barley that you soak in that water, and then hops and yeast. That's it. Two biggest things about brewing beer, sanitation, and don't blow up your basement when you're brewing. Your wife doesn't like that. Right, Andy? It was your bathroom, wasn't it? All right, we're getting close. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right. Hey, anybody out there? Oh, what did, uh, let me see, I missed some things here. Um, what did I miss, what did I miss? I tried to hit the Instagram link, but it didn't work. What? I gotta check on that. If you just go to Instagram and type in 21090 Brewing, you'll see us. I gotta check that though. Thanks for letting me know. I don't know why that doesn't work. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Hit the thumbs up. I appreciate everybody coming on. Has anybody ever done cold brewed coffee? How did you do it? Because I want to put it into this beer. And I've done some research, but if you've ever done cold brew coffee, shoot me a line here or 
you can send us through Instagram or 21090brewing at gmail.com. I, I just want to make sure I'm doing it right because the whole thing about cold brew coffee is you don't get a lot of the uh, bitter, bitterness that you get in regular brewed coffee. And that's what I want. All right, hey, Jesse, no problem, man. Good luck, and hopefully it's, it goes well for you. Cheers, buddy. Um, everybody go check out Bumpy Road Brewing. Great guy, great supporter, very good beer reviewer and brewer. Please, if you like us, you'll love him, all right? Uh, did you open the, did you see the open source brewing automation system? I've seen those sort of automated brewing systems. I'm not touching that. This is how I do it. I'm old fashioned. I do it like they used to do it all the way back. I would love to be an electric brewer like Brian from Short Circuit, but that cost lots of money. And I'd have no money to buy that. All right, is it 12 p.m. yet? No, we got one minute. I'm going to cut the heat. Thank you. There, Jervis 346, you get a gold star. You remember. Thank you. I'm going to cut the heat. I'm, I'm just putting it down and letting it cool normally. I'll probably get some ice later after we're off this to chill it down. But one of the problems with brewing in the wintertime is the, the source to cool it, the water, is no longer available. All right, good. Thank you, Miranda. Thanks for letting me know that the link doesn't work. All right, I got to cut the heat, I think. Is it 12? It's 12. Hold on one second. Where's my gloves? Now, normally I would have a what they call an immersion, it's a wart chiller. Then you put, you run cold water through it, and you put it in there, and it shoots out. So the water doesn't go into the beer, it goes into the coils. Right? And uh, Jesus, that smells good. And it chills it real quick, but I'll just chill it this way. It takes longer, but I'm in no rush. I'm just pitching it sometime tonight. Pitching the yeast, that is. Uh, who, what did I miss, guys? Um, Birch Brother Brewing, hell yeah, I could still brew in my pot and cooler system from 2010. There you go. See, that's what I'm talking about. What do you, you guys, you guys use electric, don't you? That's what I thought. Um, I just show you. I don't, oh, t hey, thanks so much, Codfish, and I really appreciate that. I love it when people help out other people. We try to support live streams as well and videos. There's so many people out there. It's really tough, but I try to at least get on and. And I see you come on our live streams. I always, I hopefully, I'll get to everybody's channel and check you out within the weekend and um, leave you a comment. I, I appreciate. I know people's time is valuable, and you know, coming on and watching the live stream, me just brewing beer is the most exciting thing. But it's good to interact. It makes it, I don't know, it's good to talk to people who watch your videos. I think. Um, so thank you guys for for the support. I really appreciate it. Anything else going on? 14 on, 17 thumbs up. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, let us hit the thumbs up. Um, we're trying it. We, we've got some fun. I'll, I'll end this soon with some um, teasers of what we got going on. Again, we have a bunch of Christmas beers coming up, really fun Christmas videos coming up. Um, we'll be doing that. We have a thing called Glam and Drams that melds glam rock with whiskey. <laughs> what? It's fun. Don't, I, I promise you, you'll like those videos, especially if you like 80s rock like we do. Um, we have a couple of blind taste tests of really cool beers that really turned out fun. Um, so we got a lot of fun things. We're going to start up um, season two of the cellar series at Hella's Restaurant very soon, where we infuse cellared beer with great food. So all that's coming. We got big plans. Um, we're not going anywhere. Well, we really appreciate you guys um, sticking with us. We were summertime's tough for us because we're so scattered with family activities, but uh, we're back now. We did a great month of November with our Bourbon County Stout and Barrel Age series, where we. Did a bunch of videos. If you haven't seen any of that, there's a playlist that has all of our bourbon barrel aged beers. If you want to learn about bourbon barrel aged beers, watch that playlist because we have some heavy hitters, probably the best of the best in regards to bourbon barrel aged beers. We also review whiskey. So if you want to get into whiskey, we've got some really nice entry level whiskeys to get you into. Um, and we're going to continue that. So we're not just about beer anymore, so to speak. Um, that'll still always be our focus, but we're about just having fun, I guess, with alcohol. I don't know. Something like that. Other than that, does anybody else have anything going? Because I'm cold, and uh, I just got to get this thing sort of down to temperature and pitched and into a fermenter. But I can't really talk to you while I do that. So we've been going for about an hour. I want to thank, let's see, who was on? We got uh, So Tweety, thank you. Good, Great to see you. Uh, we got Griffin, thank you, thank you so much. Jervis346, I appreciate it. Old Norse Brewery. Cod Fishing 180, as always, thank you. 
Burt Brothers Brewing. I think we also had uh, You Do It On, Bumpy Road Brewing, Maryland Outdoors, Griffin I Said. Uh, we had our earlier Short Circuit Brewing. So everybody that was on our stream today, thank you so much. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Hopefully you had a good time. Hopefully you have a great Christmas. We'll be around. We may do a live stream over the holidays. I know Andy wants to get on and talk to everybody. You guys miss Andy? No, I don't either. <laughs> but uh, thanks so much. Have an awesome, awesome day, weekend. Uh, hopefully you get your Christmas shopping done. And we will see you soon. Cheers, everybody.